What is up, alien army? I am Oculus, the alien next door, purveyor of esoteric lore. And today's esoteric chit chat, we are going to do a pick a card reading. So this is going to be regarding, is this person the one? And what do I need to know about that? So uh, we have pile one, pile two, Pile three. So remember, uh, choose a deck which resonates with you. And this reading is going to be regarding is this person the one and what you potentially need to know about this. Okay, so this can be for anyone, anyone at all who you are wondering if they're the one for you. So let's wrap up the intro and we'll get started with group number one. So group number one, hello and welcome. We are going to get started. Is this person the one? And what do you need to know about it? Okay, so we have seven of rockets, which equates to seven of wands. We have six of cups. We have two of wands. We have four of keys clearing the way. So this is four of pentacles. I'm gonna try to leave all of these uh, out. Let's see if they fit in the frame. We have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Okay, and we have budding. Okay, so immediately when I see this, I definitely see that this person that you're inquiring about, you might be estranged from them, okay, at this moment in time, but there's a potential for a new beginning, and I definitely do see that this person is someone who may be a twin flame because we got the two of wands here okay so two of wands for this type of reading i'm interpreting as a twin flame type of soul contract and the six of cups here now this may be someone who you have dealt with before in the past they might be someone current but you might have known them from the past they might have been a friend they might have been an acquaintance they might have been a former lover However you want to slice the bread, I am definitely seeing that this is someone from your past as being the one for you and that there is a twin flame bond betwixt you both, okay? So seven of rockets equating to seven of wands. With this energy here, I'm definitely seeing that maybe others have deterred you from uh calling this person the one for you okay and we always want to use air quotes right when we say the one so air quotes one air quote right uh you might strongly believe this and feel this in your heart and you've maybe had to defend this person and uh, towards others in your life okay this is someone that you may have had a history with I'm definitely picking up on a sense of history between you and I am sensing that whatever has went on in the past there the block is going to be lifted as of now okay so uh, you might be experiencing a temporary temporary uh, separation right now and that is uh, known to be very common with twin flame relationships but with this budding card coming out at the end I'm definitely seeing that there is a potential for a new beginning with this individual if you so desire okay bring love into this situation so this can mean that there might be obviously new moon in Aquarius that's a symbolic sense of time okay you or this person might have moon in Aquarius um, bring love into the situation 
I feel that you've been defending your point that this person is the one for you for such a long time and even maybe not towards anyone else but just within your own mind that you feel that this person is the one and you know it and you've kind of been been adamant about this point that this person is the one for you that you're such in that energy of holding your ground that they are the one that you might be a little bit too busy to actually put the love and the effort into the relationship that they are the one for you okay so right now the block is being lifted with this person and with this twin flame energy there is that potential for a new be beginning between you guys and what you need to do is just reevaluate how you got to here from where you guys were when you had that previous moment in time together okay so again this is a general reading so a whole bunch of messages might come through but the strongest one that i'm seeing is that whoever the one is for you is someone who you perhaps had a feeling was the one for you and maybe you parted ways temporarily but you still kind of held fast to that notion that they are the one and i'm sensing that if that is the case with you guys that blocks are being lifted right now you just have to be the embodiment of love you can't dwell on defending your point as to why they are you just have to synchronize everything within yourself to know that they are okay so there is a potential for a new beginning with this person that you're inquiring about um, and I'm definitely seeing that whatever happened in the past, you were right all along. They are the one for you. And again, new moon in Aquarius, that might be significant, okay? You might get back together on the new moon in Aquarius. One or both of you might have moon in Aquarius. But I'm definitely seeing with this bring love into the situation that if you've been hiding your feelings or if they have been hiding your feelings, all of that is about to come out now, okay? The cat is out of the bag and you are actually going to see the budding relationship that you do have with this person, okay? So that is the message that I'm getting for group number one. Thank you for watching this reading. I hope you found some resonance. I am Oculus, the alien next door, and we will chit chat again soon what is up group number two i am oculus the alien next door and today we are going to find out is the person that you are inquiring about the one for you and what do you need to know about that so let's get started with these cards now we're going to let's see we got four of lasers in reverse We got Ten of Cups, and we got Page of Pentacles. Up in the air. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Give. So this general message I am seeing with the Four of Lasers, which is actually the Four of Swords in reverse, is that now is actually a critical, pivotal moment in your relations with this person, okay? You might have the potential here for a life with them in the physical realm, but I'm sensing that there might not be action within either your part or their part, okay? So... With up in the air right now, I really think that this sounds like some sort of situation that happened that both of you are not seeing the other clearly, okay? Both of you are kind of at a standstill and it might be an ego barrier betwixt you both. It might be something that you are refusing to acknowledge with this person. It might be something that this person is refusing to acknowledge about you, but I'm definitely sensing that there is a potential for a good relationship between you, okay? This one might 
actually take more of a bit of effort and that depends if you're willing to do so. Now, I'm sensing that there is some sort of stuck or stagnant energy going on, okay? This is someone that maybe you've been a in a long-term relationship with. It might be uh, about that time where the spark is starting to dull, okay? But you guys, there is there is a future, okay? There is something successful that's waiting to happen between you guys. And I'm really sensing that this person is someone that you need to actually show more of an emotion to, okay? The time for standing still and waiting for it to rely on them is over. It's now, if you want a straight answer from this individual, it's now or never. You need to just kind of take the ball into your own court and establish more of a solidarity between you guys, okay? So this is something that might not happen right away, okay? But I'm sensing that the both of you did kind of want that with each other, whether you verbalized that to each other or not. I don't know, but whatever is happening right now, you need to take a stand and actually make a move. Tell them that you want a commitment, okay? Show them that you're willing to put in the effort to take it out of this limbo situation. And again, um, I'm not sensing that this is going to be something that is immediate, but there is a potential. So as far as the question, are they the one for you? They might be, okay? But that's only if you put in the effort for it. So I don't know if this is someone who is from your past or someone that is in your present, but whoever you're asking about, nothing is really going to move until you actually take the initiative and drive it home, okay? You want to get out of the limbo period and you want to solidify what you have okay you want emotional fulfillment with this person but you also have to realize that it takes physical effort and it takes a lot of energetic effort which is why the faith the faith card came up okay so waxing crescent moon now I'm not sure how into moon phases you are or rituals or things like that but it would be very beneficial if you want to see this relationship progress and get it out of the limbo stage that you need to offer up something okay now it doesn't have to be exactly to this person you can just uh make an intention while the moon is waxing because when the moon is waxing that means that it's coming into full fruition so i'm sensing that if you do want it to work with this person that you will need to put in more of an effort than you have been doing. And maybe you think that you have been putting in effort, but I'm still seeing that you need to work harder at this, okay? And there is no such thing really as hard work, but you need to exert more energetic effort into this situation. You need to give something. You need to give love. You need to give assistance. You need to give affection. You need to even give your energy into manifesting the pure potential with this person into the physical reality. You might need to uh, give more time to your manifestation that you want to happen with this person, okay? And I see that you can be happy with them, but do you want to work harder? Do you want to challenge yourself? Okay, that's really the general message that I'm getting here that there is a potential for them to be the one one for you, but there's just going to have to be more of an effort on your part. Maybe they feel that they've done enough. Maybe they feel that you have not done enough. And maybe that's why there is a cause for this question right now. But I can see you being happy with them once this limbo situation is resolved, but it's going to get resolved because of you, not because of them or anyone else is going to get resolved because you gave your all into it. You exerted that energetic effort and you verbalized your feelings and you made intentions and all of that stuff, okay? So that is the message that I am getting for group number two. Is this person the one and what do I need to know about that? So I hope you found some resonance with this. 
I am Oculus, the alien next door, and we will chit chat again soon. What is up, group number three? So today we are finding out, is this person the one for me and what do I need to know about it, okay? So let's see what the cards have to say. We have Queen of Comets, which equates to the Queen of Cups. We have Knight of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. We have Five of Scrolls, which equates to Five of Swords. We have Take the Time to Breathe Out, Disseminating Moon. We have Co-Creation. Okay, so... With this group, I'm sensing that you are ready for a relationship. You sense that it's coming. You know that it's coming. You already know that you can have that emotional fulfillment with someone else as well as with just yourself. But I'm sensing that this person is just not there yet, okay? Um, at this time, I am not seeing that they even would recognize you as being their one. So with this reading it shows me that you are already you've been manifesting this relationship you just want to be with that person who is going to offer you stability and security and a strong psychic connection and all of that but the one that you are inquiring about i'm sensing that wherever they are they're very scattered in their thoughts and their energy okay and Perhaps you taking a break from this person or at least a break from thinking about this person is going to suit you well, okay? Um, now, I'm sensing that you have already done your inner work, okay? You are at a place where you're stable and ready for this partnering with this person, but I feel that maybe you're fixated on perhaps the swiftness of it where you need to take a time out to breathe and just relax and know that it is coming you are co-creating with the universe into bringing this relationship so this person i'm sensing if you are the one for them they absolutely have no idea they maybe haven't thought about it like that but there is a potential there is a potential for the universe to bring you someone even greater than who you have your sights set on now, okay? You have the wherewithal to manifest anything you want and you, you are moving towards it, but I'm sensing that it might, the pace might be a little bit slower than you would like, but the reward will be great once you get over that hump, okay? This person might not be as emotionally mature as you, okay? and. I'm sensing that if you are in a relationship with this person that maybe just taking a short break from them will help you get your energy, your own energy within yourself back in alignment, okay? So I'm sensing that this is someone who might not even be on your same wavelength, okay? This might be someone who you've given all of your effort to, you've done the psychic work, you've done the physical work, and you are ready for that. But I sense also that you are strong enough to walk away, even if temporarily right now, from someone who is not reciprocating what you are putting into your relations with them, okay? So this is actually a very positive thing because it's showing that you are ready for that relationship and it is going to happen and it is being created right now even though you might not see the fruits of all of your labor at this point that you are co-creating and someone is on their way to you okay so if this person that you're inquiring about actually maybe has a spiritual awakening of sorts or at least even a mini one i do sense that perhaps there is a potential there but at this moment it is not an overly strong potential because you're just imbalanced energetically and that's what's keeping you apart from this person okay you're solid 
in your knowingness of truth and this person is scatteredness in their acceptance of lies okay um that just kind of came out i don't know what that means but this is a general reading so all types of messages are going to come through okay so know that something magical is actually going to come about once you take a break from this energy of wondering whether this person is the one for you or not okay it's not going to be revealed to you at this time until you actually just take a breather okay um this person is very all over the place and you i feel are more stable and it's time for you to actually enjoy the moment instead of just wondering what's going to happen in the next moment okay you deserve to take that time out you deserve a happy relationship and if this person for whatever reason cannot give it to you even if right now you need to know that it's okay for you to walk away for a little bit and if something is meant to be there's not going to be anything at all that is going to keep it away from you okay so right now uh it's very important for you to concentrate on your psychic work, okay? Your inner work that you've already been doing so well. And with that, you will find more emotional fulfillment with just being in the moment, okay? And that is going to bring you that successful relationship that you so desire, be it with this person that you are inquiring about or with someone else, okay? So that is a message that I'm getting for group number three. I hope that you found some resonance with it. I am Oculus, the alien next door, and we will chit chat again soon. Yeah, remember, peace, good vibes, and namaste blessed because you are.